please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Well, what can I do if I don't get uh, the if I don't get a favorable judgment at the apex court? You know, I appeal to God. <laughs> the Supreme Court has affirmed the eligibility of the president-elect Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu to contest the presidential election that's held on February 25th, 2023. The apex court, in a unanimous decision by a five-member panel on Friday, held that an appeal the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, filed to challenge the legality of Tinubu's candidacy lacked merits. It told the court that Shatima was nominated twice, both for the Bonu Central Senatorial seat and for the vice presidential position. PDP argued that Shatima's dual nomination was in a gross breach of the provision of Section 29, Subsection 1, 33, and 35, and 84, Subsection 1, and Subsection 2 of the Electoral Act 2022 as amended. Consequently, aside from praying the courts to nullify Tinumbu and Shatima's candidacy, the appellant equally applied for an order to compel the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to export their names from the list of nominated or sponsored candidates that were eligible to contest the presidential poll. Meanwhile, the Apex Court and its lead judgment that was delivered by Justice Adamu Jauro held that PDP lacked the local standing legal rights to interfere in affairs of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, which nominated both Tinubu and Shetima for the presidential election. The Apex Court upheld the concurrent decisions of the Courts of Appeal and the Federal High Court in Abuja, which earlier dismissed PDP's case. It agreed with the respondents that Section 285, Subsection 8, of the 1999 Constitution as amended and Section 149 of the Electoral Act 2022 did not confer the legal right to challenge and the candidature of Shetima on the ground of double nomination. The Apex Court held that Section 84 of the Electoral Act only a powered and aspirant that participated in the primary election of a political party to challenge the nomination of a candidate by the party. It held that PDP failed to establish the injury it suffered as a result of the nomination by the APC, stressing that the law does not permit a political party to dabble in domestic affairs or another political party. Well, what can I do if I don't get uh, the... If I don't get a favorable judgment at the Apex Court, you know, I appeal to God. <laughs> Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi.